Hey, it's Tuesday, bitches, and this is JLJ This Morning Live. It's me, James Lott, Jr. Fix a plant. I am here, I am here. I am here and here and here. Uh, I did a show last night, I did JLJ This Evening, it's out there, I can listen to it or watch it. It was eye-opening. I want to say thank you to everybody yesterday who uh, was live with me yesterday. You guys were all... we. I was on three times yesterday. That was crazy throughout the day. And each time, it was very interesting conversations. Like really interesting conversations. Thank you. Um, it was a lot of fun. So thank you. I'm trying to go on for a second right now until I, until I can for a while. Because uh, I'm going to miss you guys. So I've been trying to come on as much as I can. When I can. I'm on a little early today. It's 8.30 my time, which is early for me. Um, an early pipe for you guys. Who knows if you'll get a, who knows if you'll get a notification or not. Like you know, at this point, we never know. Uh, and I'm still trying to raise money. I want to thank Delone Mitchell for 20 bucks. Thank you. So now we're down to 150 So I want to say thank you to him or her. I think it's him. I think it's him. Um, to that person for their donation. So I'm going to do this. And... No one's on yet. I'm on. I'm early. I'm on. Early. So I'm seeing who gets, who gets notifications. I'm on earlier for some of you guys right now. So, oh, shit, can't do that. Good morning, Tracy. Oh, Tracy, you're first today. Good morning. So, Tracy, I'm talking to someone who lives in in um in Arizona. Mm hmm. In Phoenix. So, who knows what's gonna happen for me? I'm not moving to Arizona, but I'm talking to somebody there. I have my place here in L.A., so I'm not gonna go anywhere. Um. We are moving around against Matt Litchfield. We're along. So today is the last day, apparently, for Spectrum Celebrity Events. So we're waiting to go, Matt. Last day is last day, right? For the event this weekend. Um, but yes, yeah, so I think Delone Mitchell gave uh, you gave something after my show last night. La my show last night was eye opening. I know Matt, you weren't there. Uh, we had some interesting conversations, and I learned, apparently, I don't promote enough. Now, you know, I promote all the time, every day, all the time. But apparently, I don't. I had sale. I had sale last night. Very good. The piece is better than the flag stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the difference. It's just, all I know it gets hot there in the summertime. Um, but I I did, I so last night on my show, I was putting all kinds of links. So I'm going to do that again this morning. I'll put a bunch of links in the chat as we move along so that folks know shit. Because apparently no one knows my shit, apparently. I thought I was promoting the fuck out of everything. Apparently I'm not. So I post, I, you'll see post more on posts, not post more, but post more posts on YouTube. 
for this. I'm gonna we're gonna be I posted four things last night. It's gonna be bombarded with stuff on YouTube. I'm gonna be bombarded with stuff that I'm just like, I'm like I'm gonna be giving out I'm gonna be giving out all these links to everything. I'm like, I be like, you do music? I'm like, I told it all the time. You have books? I'm like, I told that all the time. I feel like I told this shit all the time. But that's good to know. That's what that's actually an eye-opening thing. So Maybe I gained some stuff last night because people didn't know. So in this chat throughout the day, I'm going to put some stuff in here too. Because I'm like, i like, I had no idea. I thought people knew all my stuff. I'm like, I'm, all, I'm out there selling myself. Shit. Selling myself. I'm not doing a, I'm not doing a good job. So I'm going to be doing more and try to get that out there. So more links. Throughout the day today, I'm putting some links up. In the chat, for those who don't know what's going on, well, I'm like, I I have been posting shit all the time. I talk about stuff all the time, so that's good. No, if your core audience doesn't know what the fuck you do, then it's a problem. That's a problem. If your core audience core audience does not know what you do, I know there is. They don't do it that way on on Spotify. They only do that for um, your music. They don't do that for it because most folks have just one podcast. <laughs> I'm one of those re weird people that have several. Um, they don't do that. If you type in JLJ Media, stuff will uh, stuff will you know, show you a lot of my stuff. Um, but no, they don't do that on Spotify. No, they don't give you a main page. Um, Amazon is your main page for books, obviously. Um, but yeah, they don't do they do they don't do that that way. They don't, and I wish they. Oh my god, I wish they did. And on my on my artist page because it's set up differently because I get paid for a different way. It's it's done by group. There's a voice and lot page. There's a third dimension. I mean, there's all all that. But there's no. We do podcasts and shows. There's no main JLJ. I I wish so badly that where there was. I wish. Crystal was bugging. <laughs> I don't know, my serious. I mean, but my thing is, it's just so funny. I really thought, I really thought that I, I thought people. I mean, I literally talk about my stuff all the time. Like, plus, also I have a whole. Hey, I mean, this this channel's been up since 2012. I can't promote every single thing I've ever done. That's just that just that just, just can't do that. Like. Um, but if you're, I know for some people, they just found me in the last couple of years, but I've been around for a long time. So you're going to have to do your own research and just kind of go, the James interview so-and-so type in James Law Jr. And who, who are your name? Um, uh, Deidre Hall or something. And it'll pop up. Oh, like, it's just kind of like, you have to kind of, some, some stuff I know I can't just, I can't go back. Some people will ask me, I heard you interview like that yesterday on, on Twitter. Someone goes, I heard you um, interviewed Susan, Bill and Susan Hayes. Well, I did. Can you send a link? They so as you could look it up. They did. So I sent. I sent. I put the link on Twitter with it. They're like, "Thank you." So I got a new look, whatever. But I'm gonna do it occasionally. Um, but I have. I've been doing interviews since since 2014. I mean, I have a lot of problems. I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna be able to do everybody, but I know for some people. You're like you do that. You do what? You do this. You do that. I'm like, who are you? Who are you guys following? I'm always promoting. I have. I, I my buy me a coffee. My page. I'm. I'm always. I'm promoting all, all my. And if Candace is on, you know, Candace will promote my shit too. So I'm like, I'm just like, I don't even know. I don't tell people. I always tell people. I always tell people. I feel bad because I have a lot of content. So good luck. Um, speaking of that, today there's like six. I have six shows out today. Six shows. Let me, let me name them for you. Um, another Wildcat Tea Time, 50 plus, the SOS show with James Lott Jr., they had a lot of help with James Lott Jr., Daytime Today, and our new teaser for a new show called Indiana Botox Babe. They're all out. So you can check any of those out on audio or video, whatever. Check those out. They are all out today. So I have six shows out, plus this one. So six shows out today. I did, it, I did an episode, um, Daytime Today, on the Black History moment we had yesterday on GH, which I loved. People were complaining, people were loving it. 
I gave my two cents on daytime today of the Stella Marshall, um, Kevin and Curtis scenes. So I gave my two cents and it's out there. You'll see it's out now on daytime today. Um, but that's why I, I, I again, I always promote everything, fuck everything I fucking do. Shit. So I was like, okay, kids, that's, that's interesting. I know, totally interesting. I was like, uh, 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 yeah. So anyway. So, but that's just like, because Sheree was on last night, she knows. I was like, I'm just like, oh, you do this, you do that. So I'm, I'm occasionally going to pop, I'm plop in. Some of the things I do in here, so you guys, so that there's no, I'm going to wait till more people come on. There's no mistaking. You won't know what the fuck. So I'm just like, okay. Mm-hmm. I see what's going on. So it's just it's woo something else. Oh, so that but still that was but I mean I know that nothing's perfect and you can always there are people who still aren't getting your stuff. I know that on some level. Um you can't get to everybody. And you can't get to everybody. There's some people just can't get to. Just that's that's but I know a lot of folks like things kind of spoon fed to them, just like give it to me. And I want to give it to you. <laughs> that sounds dirty, but I don't want to give it to you. I'm taking out my my um my scrabble cup. It is J8. Um, I know, but I'm bummed. But that was we had some great, I mean, all day yesterday, we had great conversations. I loved it. Um, and I, I love that. And it was also interesting to watch people. I always find it fascinating to watch people react to our conversations. Um, and it's, it's always a safe space. We always talk it out. I'm like, am I here to scream or holler? The chat's usually pretty chill. We all, we just talk things out. So I love that. Um, but it's interesting to see how some folks, when they come into my chats, we're talking about something very serious, and they're like, what do you think about Ava and Sonny? Like, we're talking about something totally serious. And they come in to that. You're like, okay, well, let's change the subject. I'm like, because I've, what, I, what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing in my chat sometimes and online, which I, I have a mixed feeling about it. And so I'll share that with you guys. I know for me, there are times, because I've had a very serious life, there are times when I want to escape it completely. I want to talk silly, have a good time, and not even worry about it. And keep things light and airy-fairy and all that stuff. I said fairy. Then... But there's also times when I want to talk something serious, and I think and it's, it's people people will tell people they don't write you; they'll write me and tell me, "Oh my God, James, your show was so good; it helped me get through blank." Or I feel the same way. So I have this kind of mixed thing. It's like I, you know, I know I'm big in the soap world, and a lot of you came to me because of the soaps. So I'll talk to you about soaps to a certain point, but then I'm like. I'm more than soaps. I do a lot. But soaps are actually a small part of what I do. I do a lot more. And so when people bring up other stuff, I want to talk about that too. Now, I'll do a lot of political stuff. You know that already. And, and certain religious stuff. But here and there, if something comes up that's natural and organic, I will comment on it. And some folks don't want me to do that either. So it's just very interesting. When people, I know everybody comes to me for certain, there are their own reasons, their own agendas. And I always try to say, I have a show for everybody. You come on this channel, you should be able to find something that will help you, you know, feel good. Um, but for me, watching that, it's like there's times when I want to talk something very serious. I want to get that out. I want to, like, 
I want you guys to tell me your feelings about it too. I mean, I'll, I, like last night, I was like, "How do you feel about so and so? What do you think about that?" And I want to hear. Uh, I want to hear from the people. You guys are the people. Um, a lot of times, I am curious what you guys think about certain things because I don't know. I mean, so as long as you guys teach me stuff, I'm like, "What does this mean?" You guys tell me. Um, and sometimes it's not light and flowy. Sometimes it's serious. I'm like, I don't know what this means. Can you tell me? You know, and I love coming to you guys to talk about it. So I get sometimes that people are just like, I don't want the whole thing. See, I, because trust me, I get it. The news and the life itself, it's crazy. I, I totally get it. You want escapism and in your shows too. And I get that also. However, comma, where is my back scratcher? So I'll get my back. I know, middle of that whole thought, I need back, my back's scratch. I need back scratch. Can't find you guys. I want I want back scratcher. My my back is be scratched. Oh, now I found it. Oh. This one spot. Looking shit on me. I love this. I have my my back scratcher. It's long. Um. But anyway, so someone was saying, you know. I don't watch soap operas for history lessons and blah, blah. On some level, I totally get it. I do. I get on some level. You're watching a soap opera. You want to have some fun in the afternoon, whatever. You're not looking for lessons. But soaps have always been that way. If they do it right, there's a mixture of story from silly to serious if they do it correctly they can have funny to drama that's how they should do it um so but sometimes i just think there needs to there's, sometimes there isn't an end game so i, I also I just wonder why can't people just sometimes look at scenes and go wow those scenes are really good like those are those were really powerful scenes those were really good like just say that they were just, I mean, they were just like acknowledge some things don't have to have an end game or whatever. Just like, there's just some, like, you see a pairing of two people get together in a room, you're like, I never thought of those two together. That's kind of fun. Like, I like, like Tracy and Stella. That was kind of fun. I was like, oh, I can use more of that. Like, sometimes, sometimes there's just scenes that you see, like, that's a fun scene. Or that's a really great scene. I know, people I know. I know everybody, I know I know I know nobody's happy. I get it. I know in the world nobody's happy, and so they shit on everything. And I'm you know, and for those of us who content creation, it's hard because we know we can't please everybody. We've always known that. That's just that's just like a known it's a given. However, comma, it's gotten worse. So I said, I would never work on a soap opera. Oh, no, I would never, I would never do a soap opera. Oh, no, no, thank you. The fan base is it's just too crazy. Too judgmental, too crazy. No one, no one, everybody wants the gratification. Everybody wants what they want. It's like, let's see how it unfolds. Let's get, let's get the, you know, there is a hierarchy. There are certain things, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, let's see how we, let's see what they do with it. And then call out the things that we know are to be true. I mean, there's time to call. There's time, there's time to call out stuff. You know, I do it all the time. Uh, stuff, but let's like kind of see where it, you know. Well, that's my soapbox for that. I just, I just, I'm just like that's just it's a thing. I think. Um. So it's eight forty eight. I've been on nineteen minutes already. God, it just goes by so fast. Um, I don't know if you guys have gotten this the notification or you just like, you got oh you or you just happen to see. I'm here. I don't even know anymore. I just by posting stuff. I don't know. I have all these shows out today. I have no idea because I put too many shows out. Who knows? But I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. So I'll put a couple of links in the chat as we're talking because people 
we're doing that. Um, uh, let's get my let's get my email. Um, I hope we can do this. Of course, there's my Patreon. You can always go to my Patreon. Then there is my new blog. I'm trying to get people to sign up for my blog. I know blogs. I'm so I'm over blogs myself. But someone told me I should start a blog again, which I have. And I put some good stuff on there. So I wouldn't mind the numbers. So I was supposed to. Nobody's talking in here. So uh, I guess you guys are all still waking up. So that's my blog. What else should I give you guys? I just saw it this last night. Like, what else? What else? What else? Oh, okay. And then, um, so we go through my stuff. Uh, then I got, I'll do this. My buy me a coffee. You can buy me coffees. And, and look at, I got all kinds of goodies that go along with it. Shows and stuff. Working on some, something right now for them, for that. Okay, so you didn't get a notification this morning. You watched my live from last night. You refreshed. Oh, fun. There you go. That's so funny. I know you you, you weren't on last night. I went on, I went on. Well, no, it was late for you. It was like, it was late for you. I was like, yeah, I got on at eight thirty. Um, what else was there? My Amazon author page. A lot of people are like, let's see that. My Amazon author page. So that's there. I'm like, I know. I'm just trying. I'm like, just okay. Well, I'm like, what else can I do? Okay, my SoundCloud page, which has all my music on it. So, I mean, everything I ever put out is on there. That's one comprehensive place to go to. So I'll stop there. So that's I'll start. I'll do some more later. So there's your first, like, first five. Um, First five links to my Patreon, to my blog, to my Buy Me a Coffee, to my Amazon, and to my Sound. Yeah, your annual dust money this morning is worth better. Oh, that's like very good. Hope everything went well. That's good. Um, we also had a really good um, audio drama session last night. Oh, my God. So, folks, you're wondering where Candace Mack is. I saw her last night on my audio session. We took part of the email cast and brought it on to a new show I'm doing right now called I'm Not Your Number One Fan. I'm, I'm your number one. I'm like, I am your number one fan. Um, and that was a lot of fun. So I saw her, for, we saw her for about a, a half an hour, 45 minutes. And we didn't talk about anything else, but just the show. She was hilarious. We had a good time and poof, we are gone. So that was good. So I saw Miss Candace Mack last night on, on our session. I have some good shows. Oh my god, gonna be coming out some good shows. Oh, this this show we're we're recording is so good. It's really good. Um, and the Easter Hair slash the Messenger will be out. Um, next week, Matt Litchfield is in it, so I'm we work I'm working on that right now, and I'll be out too. So. It's gonna be good. We got several mats in that one, and a Vinny. I'm wearing actually wearing Vinny shirts, um, all kind of stuff. So it's gonna. I'm, I've got. We have some great stuff. We're back. I'm back in business. I'm back in the audio drama business. So thank you. I also want to give a shout out to. I think it's Queer Bookcast. I mean, they posted my my audio dramas. Thank you or something. I posted my stuff. Thank you for sharing the love. I love sharing the love. Uh, I try to share people's stuff too, so that's very nice. It was done to me. Uh, it's always I receive it, I receive it. Um, but yes, uh, that was good. We're recording. I'm recording songs. I have books. I mean, I have all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna. It's it's this spring. A bunch of stuff coming. I'm gonna promote the fuck out of it, you guys. I want you guys to know it's out there. Of like. So yes, I said I learned my lesson. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, you're gonna be so tired of my ass um doing that. I saw I lost some subscribers, I guess, because I was telling the true shame and devil again. 
I was like, but I don't care. I'm like, I don't, I rather have true subscribers, not saying that they agree with anything I say, but just like who understand what it is I do and know that I have opinions about certain things than people on here who just want to be negative and mean and bad. And we don't do that. We do not do that here in the lobby. So that's fine. Go away. That's all I gotta say. I, I say go away. If you're, if you're an evil, bad person, don't be here. I don't want you here. Thank you for the eight likes and nine watching. I love it. The last couple of days have been great. You guys are liking the hidden like button. Yeah, I know it's early for some of you. Some of you guys are at work. Probably some of you guys are probably listening to me and we can't wait to talk in the chats. I understand that. Shout out to you. Morning, beauty. No notification. I love it. No notifications. No notifications. No notifications. Because no notifications. YouTube don't care about me. You two don't care about me. You two don't care about me. That's my new hit single. No notifications. No, no, notifications. No, no, notifications. No, no, notifications. That's me the new song, I guess. I don't I don't know anymore. Thought we I, mean, I thought man I had figured out. I don't think I don't even think it's that I don't even think it's that anymore. So I just I just give it just whatever. Whatever. I, if you find me, I'm glad you're finding me. Because I know it ain't easy. Uh, I posted in this chat from last night, because Beauty Crash was on last night too. Buymeacoffee.com, Amazon, um, SoundCloud, um, my blog. They're all out there for you. The links are in this chat, so you can actually follow me at any of those links. People, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let people know what the fuck I do. Apparently, they don't understand. So I'm going to tell you what I do um, and continue to promote. I need to promote myself, I guess, more. So I don't do so much anyway. I'm going to, I'm going to, I decided during my lives, I'm going to put links throughout the lives. Thank you to Delone Mitchell for your, he's not in here, but could be watching or watching later. Thank you for your contribution of 20 bucks. I got that this morning. Thank you very much. So now I'm just trying to raise 150. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Little by little, we're getting there. Uh, so thank you. I appreciate you very much. That's going to help. That $20 is going to completely help. Um, so and my mom helped with one of my smaller bills. She helped with one today. So my brother just told my brother just told me. So thank you, Miss Benita. We appreciate that. Um, and oh, I, and my mother um, yesterday or the day before yesterday, stared down a coyote. Yes, a coyote. Yes, we have them in Los Angeles and Inglewood, apparently. They're running around. We think they're breeding at the cemetery, which is huge by my house. So her and Lucy had to stare down a coyote, but my mother got, got in the house, and the coyote didn't eat Lucy, so we're very happy. But there we had coyote. We got all kind of a wild kingdom going on over here. I'm all wild animal kingdom over here. It's kind of crazy. But I'm glad she's okay. Oh, I can't. I can't help you. I got Cody in front of you. I'm up there. I don't, good luck. But she took care of it. Not fun. Excuse me. No notifications. No notifications. No, 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 no notification. Your new hit song. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. 
Hello to all folks who are watching. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to JLJ this morning. Whoever you is. Hair is pulled back. We're talking. It's sunny today. It's really sunny outside. Like, wow. Hopefully it'll be a good day. Yesterday it got really like, it was raining in certain parts. Your coyotes. We're going to be near our home. But yeah, you live somewhere where every coyote, I would imagine every coyotes. We just not, we're just not used to them in the city here in Los Angeles. Where we are, like, even getting, we're surrounded by mountains. We have a lot of mountainous regions. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of parks. All you need is two coyotes to fuck each other. That's it. And they got babies and they grow up to be, I want to say grow up to be cowboys. Don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. They get, they, they, they screw and they tell two friends and so on and so on. So that's what happens. Now, I've, I've never seen one myself. I've seen everything else. Giant possums and raccoons and shit. I've seen all that. I ain't seen a coyote yet. So but I know they're here somewhere. So I have not encountered them on my on my trails. Thank God. I don't know what I would do either. I could encounter one. It was like it was crazy. It was staring at her. As I'm sure it was. I'm thinking Lucy was delicious. I'm sure. I wanted to eat her. Mm, shoulder hurts. One of the things I don't miss about living in the country, I like nature. I know we were, I was outside with a flood in my garden, and there were some things buzzing around. I was like, oh, my God. My brother goes, well, James, you're in nature. That's what I buzz about. So I know I know, but sometimes I'm not ready for it. It's crazy because everything, everything is blooming. Spring Today's the first day of spring. Happy spring. It's spring has sprung. And it's like it is spring. E -e -e -e. So now I got to watch out. About getting bit because things are flying around. Uh, my friends, their allergies are getting uh, going crazy. Mm -hmm. But it is happy spring, happy spring. So it's start getting lighter later, which I love. I love that it's getting lighter later. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I just decided now I decided I would change the thumbnail for this show to a spring thumbnail. Thirteen watching, thirty-two. Okay, we've been on thirty-two minutes. Oh, a half hour already. Shit. Time be a flying. I don't even know anymore. Okay, there we go. But it's spring. It's spring. It's spring. It's spring. It's spring. So happy spring, folks. We're here. Here's this towards the second half of March. The second half of March will continue in a moment. Okay, that worked. Okay. That's what we do. We got I love spring. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite times of the year. I love it. Um, it's wonderful. I'm so happy. I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty and witty and gay. Typical cold snap starts in spring weekend, low 30s, rain, a day of our events. There you go. Hey, we all live where we live. We all know we're getting where we, where we live, right? You know, where, you know what you're getting when you live somewhere. You know what you're getting. For us, sunshine. It's happening. I'm ready. 
I am ready. I am ready. I'm ready. Let's see. I'll put some more links in the chat. Let's put some links in the chat. Okay, what else can I put in the chat? Um, oh, my LinkedIn. So I'm trying to regrow it. Regrow it. Um, and it's actually working. People are, it's, it's working. And I just like get to LinkedIn. My my feed. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. It's just it's of course not being cooperative. Okay. So here is my LinkedIn. Here's my Twitter. Well, one of them, but here's a Twitter that you guys can follow. Okay, oh, people are liking my posts. Okay, I'm trying to get to this the thing so I can give you my. Uh, let's see profile. There we go. I usually just I usually just post on Twitter. Yes, I have a link tree. The link tree is there too. I love, my link tree is in every bio on all of my pages. <laughs> I always tell people like people are like. Look at my stuff. I'm not saying to you, man, but saying tell people, look at my stuff. My link tree, nothing's changed. I haven't added anything. It's all the same, same shit, all in one spot. I have like 12 things on it, or however long it is on there. I, I don't know if it's 12, but I have a link tree in my bios on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. I mean, I, I, like I said, I'm thinking I'm doing everything easy breezy so people just can go right to it. Um, but yes, I have a link tree. It's, it's up there. It's there. I said they're sitting there minding its own business. Let's see if I can copy this link. Let's see. Let's, let's see if this works. So now if that, I don't, that that link tree doesn't work. See, I tried to do it. See, I tried to do it. It didn't work. But you can type that in somewhere so you can put that somewhere. But I have a link, I have a link tree on everything. On everything I do. Oh, what if I hit it myself and do it this way? Yes, here we go. Let's try this. Let's see if this works. That works. There's my link tree, folks. I do. I do everything. I, it's, I have everything everywhere. I'm like every, I have everything everywhere all at once. I, that's, I love my. So I learned about link tree. I was so excited. So I'm just like, I do everything, folks. I have it all set up. So I don't know, folks. Come on, folks. Do some. Just type in James. I literally Google me. Type in James Lott Jr. All my shit pops up. I do so much stuff. It all pops up. I'm on the. I'm on the first page. I'm on the first page. The first page on Google. First two pages on Google. It's me. So I'm like, come on. Like I said throughout the show, I'll put some links in here anyway for folks who just don't know. I'll put links in here. But I'm like I'm ev I'm everywhere. I'm literally everywhere. I say I was like follow me where all James Lott Juniors are everywhere. James Lott Junior is about. I don't know what to tell you guys. I am literally. I'm literally everywhere. The only thing I don't have is I have a cameo. That's what I'm thinking. I'm working on that. I have a cameo, and it's like one other thing I don't have. But everything else, I got everything else. I mean, I have a Twitch, but I'm never on there. I'm never on there. I don't even know what it is. 
I have fully to learn how I have enough time to learn how to do all that. But I'm on there. I'm literally everywhere. 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 That's fine. In my lives, I'll throw in some links here and there so folks can have it. Do that. Um, that's 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 what I have to do to get people to to follow. It's hard out here for a pimp. Trying to sell your wares. I put in my threadless.com last night too. I'll put that in, I'll put that in a little later. I was like, I got merchandise. I got all kinds of stuff. Why do you think I'm trying to raise money? No one's buying my shit. No one's doing anything anymore. So let me help me get let me at least raise some money. There's Candace Mack. I mentioned her earlier. If I was asking where you were, and I was like, she alive. She in, she in Baltimore doing something. She alive. Now I'm scared to send you anything, Candace. Shit, I got, I got stuff I want to send you. I'm, like, I'm not afraid to send it. Me and Flo have been going through all my past. I have a bunch of stuff I was like, I should send it to Candace. Candace will appreciate it. And I'm afraid to send it to you, Candace. Should I still send it? I'm scared. Right back. Here I am. Oh, yeah. The email has been five years. Jeez. Time flies. I would, you know, this it's been the pandemic started four years ago this month. This week I'll sit at home going, what the fuck am I gonna do with my life? That was four years ago this week. So just that alone, that's four years. So chances are you see each other, you saw each other in 2019. That's five years ago. That's what's so that's what's so crazy. It goes by that fast. You're like, what? Yes, and the email. It's funny. I have some fun stuff. Folks in the email will be returning onto this new show that we're doing. Um, so yes. You can, you can send me stuff. I, mean, I can send stuff to your house and it won't get stolen. That's the question I am asking. So I found, because me and Flo found some stuff. I'm like, I don't want any more. I'll pass it on to Candace. But I know so like it.
everybody then. Well, okay. I feel I, I'm just gun shy because I lost all that stuff I sent you. It's just gone now. But I just, you know, like, dang it. That's why I love having a mailbox. I will say that. Whoever gave it to me, hi, Dewan. Thank you. Spring, spring folks. Um, whoever, I forgot who suggested I get a mailbox. I'm so glad I did. I feel way safe. That's when they can't lose shit there or whatever either, but I know at least it's going there. So I know it's going to be decent. The spring has sprung, folks. Spring has sp sprung. Blah, blah, blah. Has sprung. I have a new daytime today out today talking about the general hospital situation. You check that out. It's out now. I got my first comments. It's a positive one. I'm, I'm shocked. Um, so from yesterday's episode. Uh, also, the Soap Sunday, we all our episodes are out, including... We got a package locker thingy now. Okay. The code. Very good. Okay, Ken, very good. But yeah, there's some stuff I'm going to send you. There's one thing I'm going to send you that's amazing. You'll be like, oh my God, James. Um, I said, uh, Matt said it's cold where he is too. Here it's beautiful in 70 degrees. We're going we're gonna to have a high of 71 today here in Los Angeles. This is why I live here. It is wonderful. This is why I live here in LA. I do. This is why it's expensive and it's crowded and all this stuff. But James Lodger lives here because that's where he lives here. Call your mom. Well, that's why I talked about Candace. And Well, that's and that's and so Candace, I talk about that actually. Well, Candace, do you want to come on? Is your Wi Fi working? Should I send you a link? Tell me, I haven't had a guest on the show in a while. Are you at work? Are you you're probably at work? I'm sorry, you're probably at lunch right now. I'm sorry, but that's, that was my whole point is that they're wrapping up this story or whatever. And I said, I get it, it's like that's the whole point. And they added some weight to it. I like think fine. The problem I can try to know the problem is the previous regime kind of fucked it all up. So now we're now the new regime is trying to clean it up 
And so for those folks who are upset about it or just like, why are they doing that? Blah, 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 blah. Like, I appreciate it, that they made some sense out of it. And I, I, I have a feeling it was Patrick also. I have a feeling it was him. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm like, you know what? Okay. You got lunch. Um, but that's my whole point. It's kind of like, I'm like, this is the whole point is that there some storylines are going to drop. Some are going to abruptly end. Some are going to change direction. Like that's how, that's how this works. Um, sometimes it's not as smooth as you like it to be, but this storyline, I thought it added some weight to it. I was like, okay, great. Now, we can, now we can move on to whatever that is. And I'm down for it. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So I'm like I don't I don't come to shows for history lessons and shit. I'm like I and I get some people just want some escapist TV. I totally get it. There are plenty of shows that do escapist television, um, so you can find it. But soaps have always had um, a human rights part to it, component to it. They've always done social justice stories, you know. So. It's just that's just kind of that's how it is. So they guess they do. But to me, no matter what it was, there was some phenomenal acting. Can we just like acknowledge that shit? Some folks can't acknowledge that. I'm like, is there some there was some great acting? Can we just say there was some great acting, folks? And some folks came and can't even just like, say that. <sighs> My sometimes my head hurts sometimes. I'm just like I don't I don't get it. Okay. All right. Sorry, I was getting some emails. Um, Hi, kids. 14 people are watching. Thank you, 11 likes. I appreciate that. This is JLJ this morning. I'm learning things. I still need $150. Um, we're down at, we got, I got a, I want to thank Delon Mitchell for his 20 earlier. So we got, we got down to 150. We're working it out. I've been on for almost an hour. Uh, I've been putting in a chat. If you want to go in the chat, I've been putting in the chat links to my stuff. So you can, so you can actually see more of me and my friends in other forms. I am everywhere. I'm I'm omnipotent. Not impotent. Oh, who knows? Omnipotent. I'm out there everywhere. I do work a lot. Trust me. I have a lot of, I mean, I, I work more than most, I would say. So I do a lot of work and a lot of things. So for some of you guys who don't know some other work, I do music. I do books. I do speaking engagements. I do organizing. I do life coaching. I do more than soaps. I do Star Wars stuff. I've done some Marvel things, DC stuff. I do audio dramas. I do audio comedies. I do poetry. I do painting. I mean, I do a lot of stuff. So just know that I, James Jr. is not just one thing. So you have a lot to explore. We come onto the, my world. There's a lot to explore. I would say you ought to find something of mine you like. You might not like everything, but you might find something I like. I know. It's it's cray cray. It's all cray cray. On my um I'm looking at my Spotify. Well, I guess I'll share that in here. Link. 
So Spotify only can do a link to my music. So it's a link to my music. Um, but I have almost 40 regular listeners every month. Hi, 40 people, whoever you are. Thank you for listening to my music. I totally appreciate it. Um, I have a new album coming out soon. I have new music coming out. I'm working on stuff right. I'm in the studio right now working on new stuff. Um, trying to decide what goes on this album. I want to release it by my birthday in May. I, it may not, I don't know. It's getting it's getting harder and harder. I'm, I'm getting this is this is like my eleventh album. Like I have like ten albums out. Imagine or not, but I I really want to put out something that says something. And I I had an album done, and then I was like, I, don't, ugh, I changed my mind. Life has changed. I've been through a lot the last year and a half, so I'm writing songs to just feel the stuff. So, you know, don't forget tomorrow's last day for Y and R and Bold. Um, what does that mean? They're not on Thursday and Friday, not even on um, side stations of Crown Plus. So it's just, what does it matter? I'm not, we don't, we're not doing shows. I mean, I'm in, I'm in surgery this weekend, so we're not doing shows. So it won't matter for us. That's that's just less I have to remember. So yeah, those of you guys who don't know this either, I'm having surgery this weekend. I'm going to be out. That's what I'm trying to raise money, a little bit of money too for that. Um, but I will be, um, I won't be, uh, there'll be no sub shows for the next like two or three weeks. So not from us. There's some stuff coming out that's already been pre-recorded. So you see something new coming out, it's not gonna be me. It's like it's gonna be pre-recorded, released while whilst I am recovering. That's fine, because I already watched bold. I watched yesterday's bold. Oh, it's March Mass. Okay, so that's that's good to know. I just have a couple more days, and that's it. Well, Crystal, in this case, well, no, I mean, this is a good question with disabilities. I saw, I saw, oh, there's Crystal. I saw something that was, that brought me to tears in a good way that a comedian of mine that I love, um, someone brought two people with wheel, two, two people who had, were in wheelchairs, disabilities, came to his show. And he roasted both of them in a good, funny way. And they were laughing so hard, it made me cry. Because I was like, this guy is so good that he... If I can find it, I'm going to try to send it to you, Chris. I thought it was very cool that he was like... It was a cool... They were so happy that he treated them like regular people. Like people who are able-bodied, people who are non-disabled. He treated them just like anybody else. That's why they came to the show. And it was it was a beautiful. It made me cry, and it literally made me cry. And it was it was funny what he was doing, but it made me cry. I was like, "Wow!" Seeing these two people have the time of their life at their comedian show, I thought of you, Chris. I thought that's very very cool. You know, we make you know you know we always make fun of you about stuff and talk to you about things too, Chris, on our zooms and stuff. And that's what you like. You, I, I love I love when I see you laugh. You love, if I make you laugh. It makes me happy, Crystal. That makes me happy. So I'm like, that's what we can do. Because you're you're like a person like everybody else. You're like everybody else. You like everybody, you like you like certain things like we like. And um, I love that. So I'm this it is so I gotta find it again. I was trying to I was trying to share it, but it was all, I have like seven pages on Facebook. So I gotta find the page where I follow you so I can actually send it to you on the, on the, on the page. I think. I'm like, let's see. Ms. Mac is here, Ms. Pie is here, and Maddie is here. <laughs> yes. All your peeps. Yes, Tony, I am here. Due to NDLA's NCAA ask mom, Azrael turned to not be that. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is hilarious.
Right. Back. And no, I didn't get notified. Of course. Oh, I what Tony, I watched the Ch Chucky Booker. I watched it. See, I didn't I knew Chucky. I knew of Chucky Booker, didn't really know him. Had no idea that Bernadette Cooper was a friend. Did not know that Barry White was his godfather. Did not know there was no good old glow dean with them nails. Um, did not know he was from San Pedro, which I know I was in San Pedro all the time. Um, I knew nothing about him. I remember the one song, did not know he wrote Spread My Wings for Troop. I remember Troop. Um, there were a lot of things I didn't know about him. I, there was a lot of things I did not know about him. Um, so I was, it was very, it was very interesting um, to see his show. I, I learned a lot. I wasn't, I wasn't excited. I wasn't not excited to watch it, but left excited that I did. I'm so, I'm so glad. So I did, I did watch that. I didn't, I didn't, I really know. I mean, I know a few of his songs, but I wasn't, I wasn't into him. So. But I was glad, I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad it was it was good. I love Unsung. I mean, I've been watching Unsung since the very beginning. I'm glad their their format's a little different, whatever. But I'm still, I I like them. That and and Uncensored. I like I love Uncensored. Um, it's my Vivica A. Fox the other day. Uh, I watched John Rule one yet. I like Uncensored. I love to be on Uncensored. Uncensored's the one I want to be on. I'll tell my truth to say the devil. You know me. Uh, but it was good. But it was good. Cold Chillin' was last week, and that was a good one, too. So, yes. So, yes, Tony J. Watch that. It was good. It was good. It was good. I love it. I never know when it comes back to town, but I always, I my DVR is just set to, to, to film Unsung, whatever. And every season, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, it's Unsung. It's on. I never know when it's back. I really don't watch TV one for anything else besides those two shows, so I never know when it's back. Yes, Crystal. I was looking at Crystal. I was gonna try to find out which which page I'm following you on. Um, I'm just on Facebook. I'm gonna be looking up. I'm be looking up. Miss Crystal, or she's. I know. I know Denise. I got like Denise. I got her. Where are you? Where's my Facebook? You know what? You know, guys. You know what I'm craving? I'm craving pancakes today. I never eat pancakes. Don't know why I'm craving them. I'm fine. I'm not going. Uh, sorry. Hi, right, buddy. So I'm looking. I'm looking at something. I'm trying to find a um a person. Okay. So. Um, Crystal, I just sent you a friend request on Facebook.
That was by accident. Oops, that was by accident. Yeah, I sent you a friend request on Facebook. I see all that hair. You got all that hair in that picture. Go on, girl. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can find that um, that clip. So I knew who I knew who the act. I knew who the comedian is, and I'm gonna send it to you. I thought I just thought it was very cool. Oh, you might like it. See, I thought about you, Crystal. I'll think about you, girl. I was like, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. But anyway, so I'm back. I'm back here. I'm back. I've been on 66 minutes. I know I was looking at something. But on 66 minutes of JLJ this morning, like live, 12 likes, 19. I love it. That's fine. Still trying to raise a little money. We're down, we're at 150. I need $150. We're down to that. Uh, my mother um is paying one of my bills. Thank you. One of my bills. So thank you. Thank you, mom. Um, and I got a I got a overnight, I got a donation of $20. So thank you to that person. So we're getting we're getting there. I'm you know, I'm on here every day. So I get it. Because I can't work. Um, and uh, we're going to try to work this out. So thank you for that. So any amount is, of course, anybody can give is fine. Like I said, after this show is over, you can still give. It doesn't, I mean, it'll go towards the LJ Media, trust me. Um, if, especially if I haven't reached my goal. Um, let's see. Let me read these emails. I'm checking my, checking my emails and check. I get emails when coming in at the same time. It's nine thirty six a.m. for me, so I'm on early. I've been on, I've been on, I've been on over an hour, so I'm early for me. I'm not usually on till about now, but I got on early. So, I'm talking, but I'm craving pancakes. I don't know why I'm craving pancakes. Um, because I usually don't eat pancakes, not really, like not anything. I mean, I like them, but I just don't. I don't. I'm not a big pancake wolf. So I'm like, hmm, that sounds kind of good. Um, let me get Dan Regions to be on the show. <laughs> Is Dan Regis still alive, Candace? Shit. Are you still alive? I gotta call Brad Sanders. He called me the other day. Speaking of speaking of Clarence. And I call him back. So I'm, I'm on Facebook making friends. I'm looking up shit. I'm doing this and that and the third. Peach, of course. I love a good peach pie. Mm hmm I do. I mean, apple's good, too. And pecan, you know, I like nuts. It is too early in the morning, Tony. This is a family. This is JLJ this morning, not JLJ this evening or after dark. This is a morning show. There are certain types of humor that can only be displayed in the afternoon or the evening. It's a little too early for that. I'm getting an audio file and I'm live online. We're gonna, I'm gonna get an audio file. What's going on here? Hello, my friend. You know, I was in and out during your shows yesterday, but I thought I heard you mention, and correct me if I'm wrong, that your procedure, your surgery is gonna be Thursday. 
If so, allow me to pray for you if you don't mind. Oh, that's so good. I'm not going to comment out loud. So thank you, Tony JC. I'm going to let whoever reads this can read it. I'm not going to comment out loud because it is the morning. It is 940 in the morning for me here in Los Angeles. So very nice. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, hello, 16 folks who are watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you're following me. I've lost some followers, which is, I guess is fine. That happens. Um, but I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. I'm I'm staying for a long time. So, you know, I at, at this point, I'm just like, I'll put out material. Hopefully, if folks who like me like it, yeah, I, I said I just said it's, it's there. I sent it from James Law Jr. to Denise. And that's what I did. So I saw you because you're already you're following Sherry. You and Sherry are. It says I have one mutual friend and Sherry. So but you also have a general hospital page you do too. So, um, yeah, I, I was going to show you, but I'm going to show your business, but it's, it's you. So you have four friends and one is mutual. That's Cass Sherry. So maybe it's not got you yet, girl, but, sure, but I, I did. I just sent her a request. It's there. I'm not going to show your business on here. It's not, it's not their business. I'm going to show your business on here. You guys have that great conversation in the chat. That's fine. I'm not going to say it out loud. So I have a good time in the chat. So you guys have the best time in the chat with that conversation. James is not a uttering a word. Not uttering a word. Today is my grandniece Monica's birthday. Hey, birthday to her. She's nine years old. Hey, birthday to her. We're moving right along. March is just moving right along, kids. Like I said four years ago, I was sitting here in this room going, what am I going to do with my life? Ooh, what are you gonna do with my life? What am I gonna do? I'm like, I was like, what am I gonna? And, and, and Tony and I talked this uh, yesterday. We were doing a lot. I did a lot. I thought I was doing a lot now, but I did a lot. When that first that pandemic, when I decided, okay, full for got okay, full force. All this, I went full force. We created shows. I was on all day long. I was doing lives, recordings, everything. I'm telling you, it was something else. It was something else. And we were out there. I was like, I don't want to go crazy. And I set my desk up like this. And I said, okay, that's it. I'm just going to start. I, have my, I put up my computer. I had all the I had a ring light. I put over here. I found it over here. I had a ring light behind me over there. I found it's better over here. I have a light right here. And I said, okay, let's get it started. And that's what I did. And, and, and the rest is history. So the rest is history. I think that it is um, been a wonderful ride. It's been a very roller coaster ride. It has been um, very interesting. I never thought when I said I'm going to start a network, I really didn't know what the F I was doing. I just thought, okay, I'm going to start something. I just knew that I wanted to give you guys content and not go crazy at the same time, literally at the same time. And the year before, I had no idea a pandemic was coming. I had no foresight. I just decided to buy all this equipment.
when do you think you'll retire? Never. I'm not going to retire. Um, I, you know, but you know, here's the thing, Rebecca, because I love what I do. That's it's always a great. That's always a great question, Rebecca. I love what I do. So, I feel like a Betty White or whoever, Ed Asner or Eric Bray, like, why would I retire? Most folks retire because they're done doing what they like to Now, if I get to a point where I'm just like, I'm done, I've had enough work, I have a feeling I'll slow down at some point. I have a feeling I will totally slow down. That's going to happen. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to start doing less and less. That's what I'm kind of doing a lot of stuff now while I have the energy. But at some point, I'm do less and less. Um, but I'm still of service. I feel like I'm of service. Um, just, I, yeah, exactly. Right. I, I'm just getting started. I, I mean, I can't. So you guys understand, too, I started this late in my life. I was in my 40s. Well, I, I got into business in my late 30s, and I got to this part of business in my late 40s. So I am just, you know. Uh, okay, Crystal. Crystal, do not encourage them. Oh my God, I, I, I do not encourage them, Crystal. She's in crackers. Uh, Tony's got a field day on that one. Oh my God, I love it. Um, but I know I'm just getting started. I was like, I know. I'm like, I just, I got, I got lots, I got lots to say and lots to do. But I have a feeling at some point, depending on my health or whatever, I'm going to slow down a bit. I think I, I think as long as I can, you can roll me up to a, a microphone. <laughs> I could be like um, Andy, Andy, uh, Andy Rooney on uh, sixty Minutes. He's like ninety nine years old. I mean, I could do this forever. As long as I can talk and have my faculties, hopefully, a lot of stuff. Hopefully, I don't go crazy. I could, I can literally last a long time. So I think that's and that's kind of beauty of this business. Where I can be a writer behind the scenes. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff I can do. So I hope. So I hope that I'm able to continue doing this for a long time. I love it. I don't. I mean, all work and no play is like I, I'm trying to find a, a balance. I'm trying to find a personal life, um, and I I am talking to someone right now. So it's just the very beginning stages. You never know. But I've been open about that. I've been on a quest for that for life. So if I do meet somebody. That'll be that. Then obviously, I'm going to divide my time. I'm going to put my time into that relationship. That's that's what I want. Also, I don't. My kids are getting older. I have other grandkids. You know, I, mean, I got things in my life that I'm going to try to continue to keep going. But I I do not want to. Um, I don't want to work just work all the time. But I love all this stuff. I mean, I I love doing this. So I'm like, no, I'm I'm going to. Like I said, I started too late. I started late. If I was doing this since I was twenty. Or fifteen or whatever, maybe different. But I, I just start. I just, I just started. I've been doing it for seventeen years, and this part for almost ten. So I have a lot more. And I had two years kind of off. I had one year off because of Bell's palsy. So I'm kind of pulling it together, you know. So uh, we're talking as a drama. I, I just, I don't, you know. Listen, there goes. I was waiting for Tony. I was waiting for Tony to say something because. Matt, you saw that Crystal responded to Tony. So I'm just kinda I was just waiting for Tony to respond. Uh <laughs> she's like <laughs> We have such inside jokes from our Zooms. They're just are uh, kind of hilarious. Um but yeah, but that's yeah, so I don't that's that's also that's a great question, Rebecca. People always ask me, what do you do when you retire? Do you think you retire? I don't think I'll I think I don't think I and I don't think I have enough money to retire, to tell you the truth. I mean I got a little something here and there that I can't touch. I got a little, I got a few things in place where I can't touch it. That's why I'm not using it now. I can't touch it um, for later because I don't have a pension. I don't have, I don't, I mean, I have other things, but I have property, thank God. And, you know, I, I look at property and uh, it's not expensive. So I'm very fortunate in some way. In some ways, I'm very fortunate and kind of set up for the future. So we'll see. So we'll see, but I don't. I don't think retirement. I don't think it'll be for me. I think it'll be just. It'll just be slow down. But again, unless something comes up and I'm like, I have enough money and enough whatever, and I'm like, that's it. I can't see myself doing that. I mean, even when I, even when I couldn't, even when I took time off, I come back. Like last year was a lost year too. I, but I come back. I'm, I'm excited to be back. 
I love all this. I love all the stuff that I'm doing. So it's kind of a the thing. So I don't think I'll retire. I don't think I will. So I'll be I'll be here for all you. You see me go go all gray probably at some point. I wonder if I wonder if I will go all gray. I got some grays, but I wonder if I'll go all gray. If this this might go all gray for sure. Um. You guys, you gotta wait. Hello, fifteen people who are watching me. Thank you. But on but on almost an hour and a half. All right. Still trying to raise some money. Hundred fifty dollars. Trying to raise that still. Any amount is good. I put the stuff underneath the video. I've been sharing my links to things in the in the chat, so I'll continue to share links to some of my stuff throughout the chats. I'm going to learn how to do that now. I'm just, just in case you guys just don't know what I do, uh, I'm going to give you links to stuff. You can check it all out. So I would do that throughout the chat. I'm trying to think of what's next that I haven't posted yet. I guess my Facebook um, fan page, I guess I should do that. I do have a Facebook fan page. My Facebook page I usually do is mostly just for close friends and family because I've I've had people come on that page. And it's all about days of our lives. Or journals. Like, that's not what I do on that page. But I have a page. There's Tony. Um, but they have a fan page. You can do all this stuff there. Um, last night I posted the Bold page and the GH page. I can't have a YNR page for their reason. Um, what else can I, I can share with you guys? Oh, I'll do this. Okay. So we do have merchandise. You can make whatever you want out of a lot of different things. I'm going to add some new, some new stuff up there soon. Um, but jljmedia.threadless.com. This is where are you, Tony? My living room. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know his setup. He sit on that couch. He got his tablet stuff up front, and either mommy is next to him or she's in the other room. As you know, that's what you know Tony does. We know Tony's setup. And the couch you're trying to get comfortable in. Be like Andrea. I oh, know Andrea's not on right now. It's nighttime for her. She's not on right now. She may come on because now it's ten o'clock. Almost ten o'clock. Again, I I came on early. So those of you guys are like James, you're here already. I came on. I've come. I came on early. I came on early. I'm also washing clothes right now. Same time. I used I used some fabric softener I didn't like. I had to rewash my clothes. I was like, nah, I don't like. I don't like the way it smells. New York City. She's like, where are you? <laughs> I think she meant like because it took a few a while. So so sometimes Crystal, he's dealing with his mom. So that's why it took a while from Nancy. She's like, she's like more like where because she said that statement, you hadn't answered you. We're all we're all waiting for you to answer. You finally answered, but we're all we I said you're probably you're probably off taking care of your mom. That's the thing with Tony. Tony will drop little things and then go away for a minute. You're like, Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony has does it again. Feels good. Yeah, it feels good. He does it and runs. But I, but it's not intentional. I think he's having to take care of something. Because I, as we all know how that goes too sometimes. You know. Oh, good. That's what it was, Chris. So we talked about that. That's what it was. I want to. I want some yarn. Okay, good. I'll get a chance to look on it later today. I'll just do taxes and other paperwork soon. I know that that's that time too, Tony. I know. Me too. Me too. One of my one of my bills I have to pay is my mailbox, folks. I I pay fifty seven dollars for three months. I get cheaper every every three months, so I'm very happy about that. So I got to pay that soon. That's due 
a few weeks. I said, I love having me. I'm like, and they know me in there. I come in, they're like, 339, they know me. I'm like, hey, pictures, I'm here. We're now, uh, we're now at the party started. They're very nice folks. And it's right there by the airport. And a lot of times I'll go and give me an In-N-Out Burger. It's just so good and watch the planes land. I have a 7-Eleven I like that's over there. It's new. It's my favorite 7-Eleven. I just love, I love being by the airport. I just do. I had to answer a door for grocery delivery. I understand that too. Max, that's all. Our taxes are done. And refunds are already spent on a car and homeowner insurance. He's like, we're done. Yeah, I got I to do mine. I gotta sit down and go through all my all my stuffs. As well as having Flobo come in a few times a week has been really helpful to me. Um, it's just been super helpful. Eh. <sighs> 10 o'clock. You know where your children are. Why is that like a night? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Right here. So do I want pancakes? That's the thing. I'm like, do I want pancakes? Do I want McDonald's? I haven't had McDonald's pancakes in a long time. I sat here and ate last night. Are you guys sitting there eating and had a good time last night? And that food was good last night. Oh my God. Let me just look on the McDonald's menu. Thank you, Mick Floyd. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mick Floyd. The Cinnabon count? No. I'm talking. So thank you, Mick Floyd. Just made a donation of 30 bucks. So now I can change everything. Now we're just 120. Let me change, let me change everything. We had a major thing. Thank you very much. It's now we're down to 120. That's good. This is good. We're getting closer to the goal. Thank you so much. Getting closer to the goal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My butt. <laughs> But Cinnabon, one of these days, I'm going to have Cinnabon delivered to my house. Thank you, Mick. Thank you very much. That's going to help me out a lot. Um, actually, it's going to pay for my new ID. I got I got to hurry up and do that. My birthday's in less than two months. I said I can do it online. I'm like, thank God. I, I don't want to have to go stand in line somewhere. I'm going to go do it in line. So thank you. Um, so we changed the, the title. So thank you very much. Um. I said I, I lost that job, going to have to go to court last week. They didn't, they didn't use me after all that. It was a waste of our my a waste of my time, actually. And they didn't care. They didn't care. I, I told them, you made me lose a job. And they said they're like, oh, okay. They're like, sorry, but they don't pay you anything. Because they didn't use me, I don't get paid. I have the little tiny piece they pay you because they did. I even though I sat there for two hours. They said, unless I was on the stand, unless they actually used me, I was in court while court was in session, I could have got paid like 20 bucks or something, which is nothing, but I would have took it. 
Uh, but because I wasn't, and court was not in session, I don't get shit. Isn't that crazy? That's what they and they and they knew they knew they were wrong because they totally didn't give me enough time in the subpoena process. I'm learning about. I'm learning about. I learned a lot this last week about the, our system. They're supposed to give you up to like around at least ten to fourteen days in advance to subpoena you, so you have a chance to work out things like like childcare or whatever, show, working stuff. They sent me a text first, a text saying we're confirming you're coming. I never said I was coming. I never said nothing. I. Confirming you were served, I'm like, no, I was, I, and when I called, I'm like, is this a joke? I mean, is this like a? I thought it was a fake thing. I know, I know, it was real. You know, fake shit all the time happens. And they're like, no, it says you didn't get served. I go, no, I didn't. I never got, I never got served. Nothing. The sheriff didn't serve you. No, they did not serve me. So when I talked to my lawyer, and they're like, uh, they did you. You don't have to go. Blah blah. What happened two days before the, the trial? It's the sheriff's office, and he served me. He served me. I'm like, you mfers, think you're funny, but they're still in the wrong. But I was like, okay, I'll go. I don't. I don't have. I'm black in America. I don't fucking fucking follow stuff. Sit for two hours, and they didn't use me. So and I was like, ain't this some b s s s s? So, but you get paid. You get paid. A, you can you can you can apply for payments. It's not like I said, not a lot of money, but you can you can apply for a little bit of money if they use you. And I looked that up. Nope, and they didn't use me. Court was not in session. The the judge was late. They told us to be there at eight thirty. It was nine thirty, and judge was still not there. Courtroom was still closed. That to me, I'm like, what in God's green earth? It was a waste of spending my time. Cineholic is better. I've never had Cineholic. I don't, I don't even know what that is, Mick. I've, I've, no, I, you know, I've never heard. I've never heard that before. What is? Please tell me what is Cineholic? What is it? Where is it? You know, we're both in LA, so tell me where. Where is it? I've never had it. I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. I just saw about from the from the mall. From yeah, I live near the. I live near the Fox Hills Mall. They call it Westfield Corner City. I still call it Fox Hills. Oh, Sheree, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your grandmother. Um, I, I, I hate losing grandmas. Oh, well, any, well, you know, when anybody tells you, we'll be there between blank and blank. That's just, the, that's, just that's just lip service. That's just lip service. The thing is, if you didn't get ready between blank and blank, that's when they would show up. But because you're ready... And you're sitting there, and you're ready for them. Oh, nah. If someone tells me I'll be there between one and five, chance started coming at five thirty. Always happens. Always happens. But one time, I was like, once, one time, I had somebody come first thing in the morning. They said it was like between nine and twelve. They came at nine oh one, and I was like, real. I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. I went for Mick to tell me about Cineholic. I mean, I'll try, you know, I'll try anything. Shit, I don't care. I'll try it. That's, you know, me in LA. I'll, I'll go get something somewhere. I don't even know. Now I'm not going to be trying to look it up. I'm going to look it up since I know the, the chat's slow. So I'm going to look up. I'm going to see. See, Cineholic can be delivered to my house. I don't think Cineholic can be delivered to my house. Oh, yeah, Randy's Donuts. Cineholic. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking right now. Echo Park. See, I don't live. I don't live no. Echo, I don't live no Echo Park. They do look good in the pictures. They open at eleven. Over from eleven to ten. Well, I live nowhere near Echo Park, so they can't come to me. But it looks good. I'll have to try it one day. Echo Park, okay, Cineholic. It did. It, I mean, it, I mean, it's just pictures. It do look. It do look good. Oh, there's there. Oh, 
So folks, you can kind of see in here. It, it do it do look good. Okay, Mick, see Mick. I had no idea. So I know Mick's from from Los Angeles. So I'm like, if I said, tell me, I don't know it. It's on Yelp. Lupita went. She loved it. Okay, thanks, you, Lupita. Cineholic opens in 55 minutes. Banana nut. Mm. Baby buns. They have baby buns. Takeout or delivery. I live too far away. But I know I know what I know what this is. I know exactly I, that whole area is changing, so I don't know how it is. I know what it is. Okay. Well, there you go, kids. Um, so hi uh hi Jacarius. I'm learning about a new place that does cinnamon rolls. Because my brother and all I and I like we like cinnamon rolls. We like cinnamon rolls. Um, so I have to check that out, Big See, I learned something new today. I had no idea. Actually, I might be in that area in a few weeks. So I can remember. Oh, I love you too, Jacarius. Thank you for saying that. I, I received your love. Thank you. I receive it. Thank you. But mix the mix like let's just go all the way in. I make a good cookie dough too. You try to give me I'm like, I like a lot of, I don't like a lot of sugar. But it's every once in a while I want one. It's Jacarius, everybody. It's Jacarius. He is here. I still gotta send you money and send my thing. I just haven't done it yet. You can do that. Um, but yes, it is. It's uh, that sounds. It sounds good. I love trying stuff. And I love going. To, I love going to and my family. I will go to. We go to different parts of L.A. We go to different parts. We'll drive over there. I'll have to check that out at some point. Be right back. Right back, kids. I'll be there in a second. I'm right there, kids. Okay. Here I am. Hey. Um you're watching Boy Meets World. I love Boy Meets World, so that's a good show. I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge make me good person. Very once in a while I want something. Every once in a while. I, mean, I, haven't, had a, I haven't had a Cinnabon in years. I'm mostly about. Donuts. I like donuts. That's probably what I eat the most. Um when's the eclipse? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Again, I'm learning I'm learning all this stuff today. Please explain to me. I'm learning today's my show's called I'm Learning Things. So I learned about a new bakery that I never knew about. When's the eclipse? What's going on? I don't know nothing. <laughs> April 8th, okay. 
Uh, to carry, so I, 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 do you ever have you ever watched Girl Meets World? I like that one too. So what's the what's so, so, so eclipses happen? Of course, is there a significance to this eclipse? Right back, please tell me. I'm right back. All right, here we go. Uh, what's for lunch? Eating ramen. Yeah, you get around. I, I don't. I don't get around nowhere. Like I'm all. I'm. I'm so South Bay based. I am so. So I used to be Hollywood based, and you know, last the, the other night we were in Hollywood. I went to D Town Pizzeria in West Hollywood, which I love their pizza. Um, but I'm. I used. I'm so South Bay, the beach cities. I'm. I'm so down here now. I really go north. I actually went east last week. I went to went out to Riverside. We're out there getting some good food. Um, I'm I'm seriously think I think I want some breakfast for lunch. Sent you the link via Instagram DM. Link for what? Please just tell me what the link for what. But I like ramen. I haven't, I haven't had good ramen. We have a good ramen place here in Inglewood. I haven't had it in a long time. Ramen sounds good. Kava. Tell me, what's kava in Hollywood? Tell me what that is. I don't know what that is either. I'm about to look it up. So I, don't, I don't know kava. Why do I not know kava? I don't, I don't know nothing. I was at Bossa Nova on Saturday. And I went to the Bossa Nova in Hawthorne this time. I've been to the ones in Hollywood, of course, and one on Pico and stuff. But this I was to the one in Hawthorne. I love Bossa Nova. Okay, now I gotta look up Kava. I don't know. I don't know these things. Why? Why is it not ringing a bell? I used to go out. Oh, Kava. There's one on one in uh by my house in USC Park on Hoover. It was at 1045. So what's what's kava? What well, if food looks good too? All these salads and wraps and stuff. It looks healthy. It looks good. See, I'm learning all I'm learning all this stuff, Vic. Thank you. I did not know that one either. That's four stars, the one over here. You a University Park. I'm right. I'm literally four train stops from University Park. I think the metro be be right there. I'm actually go. I see I see it over there all the time. I should eat over there more. I should. Okay. Uh, it's one of the longest solar eclipses of the 21st century. Okay. There won't be another until 2020, 2044. 2044. I'll be 45 years. I'll be. No, I'll be. How old will I be? I'll be almost dead. No, I'll, I'll be like in my 80s. I'll be 85. Shit. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know nothing. I'm like, what's going on? But the cow that food looks good too. Shit, you like me? We like to eat.
some say, but I was like, well, no, I got boss fight. Well, Chipotle, I hate. So hopefully the food tastes better than Chipotle because I hate Chipotle and I don't eat there anymore. Um, so I'm hoping because that description doesn't turn me on, but it looks good in the pictures. So one of these days I might try it to see what I think. I'll let you know. But I hate Chipotle, so that's not that's not a a positive for me. Some cities have declared a state of emergency based on how many crowds and schools people are going really hard. I somehow missed all that. It's so funny. The world is so big, and there's so many different things going on that we could actually miss stuff. I'm like, I didn't even know that. Didn't even know that. No clue. I said, I'm gonna try. I'll try. I'll, no, I'm saying, look, it, the pictures look good, so I'm totally open to trying it. It's gonna taste. I'll let, I'll let you know. What I think if I try it, I'm like, well, the pictures look good. My sister likes looks. I like stuff like this. And no, it looks really good. It looks good. So I'll try. I'm just saying, I'm not a Chipotle fan, so that don't turn me on. But I like. But this part, it does look good. So, and it's in the neighborhood that I'm not far from. So I, I would be open to trying it. That that was uh, that Mick. That was me. Seriously, I've tried. First of all, I think Chipotle. So I'm sorry, Chipotle. Sorry to sound like I'm against you. I I just the the food is bland. There's better Mexican food in the city, obviously. Um, that's also fast. Um, I think it's bland. Number two, um, I've gotten sick off it like Mick has several times. I tried one location and tried one thing, got sick. Tried another location, tried another thing, got sick. So for me, me and Chipotle do not mix. And I'm just like, that's, sorry, kids. I know that's a huge, big thing. People like it. Not for me. So Mick, I am with you a thousand percent. We have Chipotle's everywhere. We're like everywhere. I was at Pink's Hot Dogs the other day, and there's Chipotle right there in the corner. And they're just as busy as Pink's. I'm like, okay. People like it. I mean, way better. Way better. Exactly, no, because Mick, I've heard the whole the argument. Well, it's like just fast food Mexican and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but well, we have taquerias, we have taco trucks. Like, there's so, like, it's like, like we have a shortage of authentic Mexican places. You know, that's the one you were at. You know, whichever one you were at, James, that's when I was at. We all get, I went, well, Mick, we're not, we, we live in the same, like, area sides of town. Would not be surprised. Um, that's what it was. I mean, seriously, I tried two different ones and got sick of both of them. I'm like, that's all. That's all you need to know. So whatever it is they use does not mix with James Lightyear. And, and again, I'm obviously not the only person. CP Rass is yeah, boo. I just feel like in in Los Angeles we have so many choices. Other cities might have choices, but LA. Really, I. It's so funny you say that, Mick, because. Um, my brother-in-law, who's Mexican, and I, we're talking about that. We've never eaten there. They're a chain. And there's one by my house. I've never been there. Come back, Tony. Come back. Come back to me. I'm begging you, please. Come back to me. Why don't you just come back to me? I was about to eat there. That is a galvan. Galdivian or whatever they call it. Yes. They're eating there. Smells good on the outside. I have some places, I mean, for me, it's my Fiesta Martin and Eaglewood. Um, and it's a lot of, a bunch of, a bunch of taco trucks that I like. Leo's Tacos on, Pe on Venice and La Brea. Lucy's on Venice and La Brea. I mean, there's, there's so many places I just love that do it better. Baby, if you do it, take the time, do it right. We can do it, baby. Do it. 
do it tonight. Baby, we can do it. Take your time. Do it right. We can do it, baby. Do it tonight. That was just for you guys. Um, so yes. So I think I just think that especially the especially in Los Angeles. I said other cities when I have that, but in LA, we pretty much got the Mexican food now. So Chipotle is really not needed. So I'm just like, okay, kids. With some bland Mexican food, have a good time. So I'm like, I know way better spots than that. So okay, Leo's the bomb. I and Leo, and they have a second location now, Mick. I saw a couple of days in a row. They're by Chinese Laundry over on La Cienega, right past Jefferson. Before you get to to Obama, like you want to say Rodeo, uh, Rodeo. So you get to Obama. It's before the Target, after the Seas Candy. It's in the parking lot. It's the same Leo's Tacos. So now they're in two locations. They have a whole little setup over there. I was like, oh. The first club and I saw it one day driving back from Dakota City. And I, we saw it going up to go to uh, West Hollywood. My brother and I. And we were like, who that? Who that is? And there was a line there. They were like, who that is? And it was Leo's Tacos. So they expanded, kids. But they're good. They're good. I, I've been going there for years. But the one on Venice La Brea, I was going to lie. Never had, never had their fish tacos. I always have carnitas or carne asada. The bomb. I used to live. I used to live over there actually, a long a coon's age ago, a long time ago. Well, I don't live over there anymore. But yes, I pass through there. But then, of course, if I'm in the neighborhood. I may go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles to get my waffle. Get my Obama at number nine. I just love their waffles. I mean, speaking of waffles and pancakes, I just love their waffles. So good. It's so good. It's so good, baby. It's so good. I want to say it again. All this fucking food talk. And I'm, this is what happened the other day. We're talking about food. I'm like, oh my God, my shows always talk about this food. Soaps and food. We get to food. I'm like, I say some Vienna yeah, sausages right now. I haven't eaten anything. And now I'm getting hungry. Making me hungry. Uh, I'm like, wow. But Mick, have you been to Bossa Nova? Thinking of Bossa Nova. So we went to the one in Hawthorne. It's a newer one. Cute little location. Service sucks. I like the ones better on, on Sunset and the one on um, and Pico in Northern Hollywood. Their service is way better. But the food's good. I had oxtail risotto, the bomb. I had a, I had a banana upside down cake, which I posted as a taste testing video. It was good. I had never seen a banana upside down cake. Pineapple, yes, my favorite. A banana. It basically like banana bread with some glaze on it, but it was good. All oh, this food talk, my God, my stomach's like caving in.
Okay. I suddenly, I suddenly almost erased something. We're having a taco bar for the event lunch on Saturday. Very good. That's very smart. That's very smart. A little buffet. So we can take care of their own stuff. So I learned about the eclipse. I learned about a couple of food places in Los Angeles. <laughs> I love, if this show is called I'm Learning Things Today. So I am learning some stuff today. I had no, I had no idea. Learning some stuff today. I had no idea. I love it. I had no idea. I am learning some stuff today that I just didn't know, didn't know about. Looks so nice today. Looks so nice. Looks so nice. Oh, a nice. It'll be like a nice. I I might have to go outside for a second. It looks so. We're well, not right now, but after I'm done, it looks very nice out there today in Los Angeles. I might have an interview today at one. I'm waiting. To, I'm just, I haven't heard anything yet. I'm just waiting to hear. Haven't heard nothing yet. I'm trying to stay close to home until then, but if not, I might have to step out for a second. Some nice weathers. That's why we live here. We may pay a lot of money and stuff to live here, but we live here for the weather. Thank you for the folks who have given to you the, my uh, my dear donations today. McFloyd is one. Um, Delone Mitchell is one. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Still trying to raise one hundred twenty dollars. I've been on for one hundred twenty minutes. How funny is that? I just have to look down. Trying to raise one hundred twenty dollars. Been on for one hundred twenty minutes. Thank you very much. It'll help. It. But thank you for those who've done. Thank you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. I have 13 likes, 14 watching, so that's really good. I have no complaints there. Um, I'm assuming you're subscribed to my channel if you're here already. If you're not, subscribe to my channel. I have some great products. I have all kinds of stuff. I've been really trying to promote stuff of that now. I have shorts. I have posts. I have long-form videos. I have all kinds of stuff. So it's from Star Wars to soap operas, everything in between. So check all kinds of stuff out. Self-help organization area i got all kinds of stuff music books everything tv movies everything so check that out here while you are here you have lots of stuff lots of lots of products i give you a lot i'm giving you everything all the joy i bring this i swear so lots of lots of products in this chat i posted some of my links to my other stuff I do music, I do books, I do poetry, I do painting, I do uh, interviews, I do acting, I do audio dramas, do all kinds of stuff. So check out, let's go, or you can Google James Law Jr. and you'll see all the stuff that I do. I can check in my emails because I'm just trying to see if, um, if I'm getting, if, if this interview is going to happen or not. Because so far, I received anything. So. And I did um, request the guy who plays Jagger on GH. It's a three request last night. So we'll see if we're, if I see what's really. Hopefully, I'll get him. Adam Harrington. He's good. Um, there's a lot of interviews with him out there anyway. Um my shorts are interesting. I do I do stuff from plane landings, which are very popular for me, to um, taste tests, snippets of my interviews. I post those also so you guys get an idea of what we're talking about. 
Uh, so yes, we'll do it. Oh, that's the oh, so I see what I I see what now I see what Matt's doing. Oh uh, yes, he's stepping in the role of Tony Jason, who played by Matt Litchfield. Yes, I now now I get it. Now I get it. I didn't get it at first. Now I get it. Um. So yes, I got it. So today, Matt, I'm going to try to film my backyard because global helping with my front yard. I got to film my side and backyard today. So I'm going to try to do that and put that on Patreon. So my Patreon, of course, check me out over there. Um, but I'm going to try to post videos of that. I can't remember what what um, tier you are, Matt, but... This is the first day of spring. I might give to everybody. All the tears. Um, all the tears. Uh, but I know my backyard, I need to go back there and do some watering. I haven't done that. I need to wet my plants back there. So they're all dry. So I'm going to do that. I wetted my plants here in the house. They were dry. I know there is. Yeah, I know really. Oh, I don't only. No, for one time, you guys get a lot, but I don't know which ones you get. So I'm like, I don't know what you get because I, I post. I mean, if you do five or 10 or 20 or 50, you get a lot more. I'm posting, I post stuff for every tier all the time, every day. So, but I think in the spring, I'm going to do just like a general, this is my backyard today because I'm sure it's beautiful back there. Oh, my Bulgaria. Uh, I'm sure. And I gotta see if my grape bush is growing back because I mean, we cut it all down. That's here growing it back. I gotta see. Oh, okay, so may I see your link? Oh, door. Uh, they were yeah, they were right. They were right out. Yeah, they were outside the hope door. We cut it all down because it was like it was it just it was all dead. It, the grapes had already done their thing, so it was just dead and stuff. Grapes, yes. So they, there were nothing left of them. So it was just, it was just, it's nothing left of them. No right way to. But they all, they already fruited everything. And it was just all just, it was all afterwards. So I got that. So I said, I need to, I need to cut them all down. But like, those things are so resilient, I'm sure they'll grow back. I gotta see if they grow back already, because we've had so many things. Alyssa. Yeah, Melissa got back to me good. I 
Okay. Somebody got back to me. I need to get back to you. Lots going on. I've been on for two hours exactly. Hi, two hours. Woo! No two hours. I may come on again this afternoon. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this weather looks so, it looks so inviting outside right now. It looks so inviting. I just want to run, run around in it. I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. It just looks like, it just looks like looking outside, just, it's so sunny. Because you know, after the rain washes the way the tears and all the pain. I have to take down these, um, I just put a me this. I'm sorry, I got an email. Come on, I didn't know that. I got to take down the St. Patrick's Day decoration. The St. Patrick's Day is over. I'll do that right now really quick. Because I'm sitting here with you guys. I don't need to, need to stand up. So I have... I got the Easter. So actually what I probably should do is... Do put this together, do the Easter. Throw this stuff out. Um, and, uh, I think, okay. Um, I have a little pouch. I have this little pouch. I got a Daiso. Maybe that'll fit in here. That's um uh, this flow seat. Open a window. There we go. Okay, kids. I think I can do this. Works. Okay, this works. These are flat. Here, okay, this works. Okay, take it off. Take them off. I need some air in here too. Let's put some air. There we go. It won't come off. Okay. This is cute. Okay, this is cute. This is cute. There you go. It'll be in there. Uh, I'll put I'll put together my these then. So I got I got to ask you guys an actual question. These are cute. Is it cute little Easter things? Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Um, would I consider doing a live lives or suits in the garden in your backyard? I don't know how I would do it. Um, there's no Wi-Fi back there. 
It, it, I can't do Zooms on my phone. I mean, it's just not it's not conducive to what you can watch Zooms on the phone. But have you ever tried to do a live Zoom for your phone? It's not good. I have a tablet, but again, not easy. I have a laptop. My laptop is not. I have to have Wi Fi. I have no Wi Fi outside. Um, it would just be it would just be too hard for me to do it. That sounds great. Sit out in the backyard, sit on the front porch, and do a Zoom. It'd be wonderful. Have a little table and stuff set up. It'd be great. Um, but it just would be complicated. It's too complicated. I need uh, I don't know scissors over here. Too complicated. There you go, Tony's back. I'm not gonna read it, of course. Uh, this is a day. This is a day show. I'm not gonna read it. But there goes Tony's back. Tony's back, back, back again. I'll just the other day. That's so funny. I have a delivery from somebody coming tomorrow. Okay. They're notifying me. Okay. Oh, you guys. The person that I'm talking to loves my lives, was telling me. I didn't know he was watching my lives. That's cute. So he is. I was like, oh, I had no idea. So if you're watching, hi. So he, he likes my lives. So my lives are fun. Because you never know where they're going to go. It was all Tony. I know. Tony just like, he had too much. I'm putting, so I thought these were put together already. Shit. I'm going to put them together. Like twenty five pieces, I do it myself. I gotta, I gotta string it in myself and do it myself. But I guess I can do it. So cute. So cute. No fish, all meats. Now, what, what, now what is he talking about? What, what, what are you going on with that? With that. Back to my, my I guess now be brunch. Nine, that's big. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm all lost. I don't know what you're talking about. My phone all ringing. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what are you guys talking about? You guys are, you are on tangents. I don't know what's going on. I'm just stringing, <laughs> just stringing my Easter decorations. I took off. So should I keep the green balls up there? I don't have. 
I don't I guess Easter can be green too, I guess. I don't have anything. I don't have any other I have the red I don't have any, like pink. I don't have pink or yellow decorations. It's all the same. No pink balls. <laughs> I do. No pink balls. I was thinking, I was trying to think about pink, yellow, yellow bulbs. Let's look online, shall we? This project can continue all day. I just let it continue all day. Let's see what they have. They sell yellow bulbs or pink bulbs. Bulbs. For the Amazons. Let me look. Um, Amazon. I was like, it's Easter. I have the light colors. I have green. Green can still work. These are all different colors, colorful. But I was like, I should have like, I have some green lights. So I think I'm gonna put on. I think it's just too much green. And then I was like, but I need something to counteract yellow bulbs. Wait, 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 wait. wait call yellow um, decorations. Ornaments. Why can't I, I can't think of, can't think of the word? Shit. Yellow ornaments. Ornament balls, they call them. They do have some, actually. They do have them. Oh, they have some for summer. That's even better. Okay. I'm going to keep a... I just put a, a pin on it. Uh, look for... If I make some money... Like that, I maybe mean, I can get some. They're thirteen dollars. Pink or they're thirteen dollars, and I can use them for Easter and for summer. So that's that's a double double use, even better. Pink ornament ornaments. They do. They have a Mother's Day tree ornament. Okay, I'm going to put a pin on that one too. It's only nine ninety nine on sale. Okay, so I make some money. I'll possibly be able to do it for that. But I got I found some. That could be again double use. Then they have Easter balls. And this sounds so dirty. There's so many. Okay, all these things. I'm 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 putting pins on them. That is cute.
They're not. They're actually not that expensive either. Shit, it's funny stuff. Okay, lamb. Let's look at lamb ornaments. Let's see, lamb. If they have lamb ornaments. Oh my god, lamb decor. Lamb decor. They have sheep ones. Lamb decorations for Easter. Oh, they have little figurines. But they don't have ornaments, I don't think. It's all figurines. We look up ornament ornaments. Lamb ornaments. They have pendants. They really don't. Oh, buddy. Happy Easter. That's cute also. Oh, they have such cute stuff, you guys. Okay. So I put a pin on three things. So if I get some money, I can get them. I can't afford them right now. But they're all cheap. They're like they're like nine ninety nine, dollars 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 seven ninety nine. dollars They're not expensive. I never knew there was a world of this. Never, never knew. Never knew. Never knew. Never knew. Never knew. Bye, Crystal. Thanks for being on this morning. Have a good day. This is pretty. They're pretty. I know, it's almost 11 o'clock. Almost 11 o'clock. You know, people, make, people make fun of my tree, and people love it at the same time. That's why I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cause it's fun. If I, decorate it, if I decorate it right, that's the whole point. So I'm going to keep trying to decorate it. I'm stringing together ornaments right now. This, this is what I'm doing. I'm putting together ornaments. Like my life. I'll do a little mini video real quick. So now I'm getting ready for the Easter tree. Took down that. I took down the St. Patrick's Day stuff. So now we're getting all the Easter stuff together. I have to put the string in these wooden things. I also need to order some Easter bulbs. So I'm gonna do that too. Um, they're all they're all coming one day. So I'm just I'm looking online as I'm live right now online talking to my fans. Uh, we're live and we're getting we're getting ideas. So that's what we're doing this morning, and it's a beautiful day outside. So now I'm getting ready for the Easter tree. Took down that, took down the St. Patrick's Day stuff. I thought I'd get all lawns manicured. There you go. See, there you go. Who could take? Who could take a sunrise? Sprinkle it in there. You got to turn everything, everything dirty, dirty. Who could take a sunrise? Dee ba dee ba dee. 
But I do think I want, I think, I do think I want pancakes for lunch. I don't know why. Like, I, why am I craving pancakes? Is somebody pregnant in the chat? Is it, is it you? Is it you, Matt? Are you pregnant? Shoring of the season. I, uh, We're actually, yeah, I'm, I don't really have grass. I don't have a lawn. I have weeds that are green. Right now, they're very green, but they'll die off at some point on their own. I ain't bragging because I'm the one. I might explain a few things about that stuff. Like, you know, I might explain a few things. Oh, I could, I could never be pregnant. I'd be a bitch. I could never be pregnant. I eat too much. Oh my goodness! I think my clothes are done too. Well, I'll get to them later. You must be an angel. I can see it in your eyes. All the wonder and surprise. Tony th Tony thinks um it's a, a JLJ after dark. He's like, he's going, he's going, he's going all in. He's like, I'm going all in. Well, oh, fuck it. I'm, I'm not gonna go half half step. No half stepping. No, no half stepping. So he's like, fuck it. I'm just going in like Flynn. He's like, I'm just doing it and doing it and doing it well. And doing it and doing it and doing it well. And doing it and doing it and doing it well. And look at my my email. See who's like, my TV order will be delivered tomorrow. I don't even know what's in there. Okay. They give you all kind of stuff. Um... And then the email. And Matt and Tony are having a good old time. And the Matt and Tony show are happening right now this morning here on JLJ Media. The other side of morning. I might come on and do a jail day after dark tonight. Then we could talk about all kind of stuff. But uh, not jail day this morning. It's 11 o'clock, kids. 11 o'clock. Guys, 11. I've been on here almost three hours. It's jail day this morning live here on JLJ Media. I'm James Lott Jr. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. We have 16 people watching, 13 likes. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I am learning some things today, which was a total the title of this uh, situation today. Um, from last night, I'm learning that um, I'm not promoting myself enough, apparently. So, I'm, so I have some links in this chat, of course, for you guys to click on to. You can now put links in the chat, um, of course. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I want to thank a couple of my sponsors. I am... Trying to raise now one hundred and twenty dollars, any amount is good. You can, I don't care if it's five dollars, ten dollars, whatever. Every bit counts. It's going to help me with some of my bills. I couldn't pay because I was robbed out of a job, which happens. I had to go to court, um, and I will not be working in a few weeks. Apparently, I got work on. I got to figure that out too. But anyway, um, any about you give is fine. K PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, all this stuff. I have it in the description. I put it in the chat here and there, which I'll put it in again soon. Um, you always ask me also. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks to those who have given already the last couple of days. Thank you. That's my top of the hour. 
I have oh I know I also have I have six shows out today from JLJ Media. Another Wildcat Tea Time, 50 plus, the SOS show with James Live Jr. A lot of help with James Live Jr. Indiana Botox Babe and also Daytime Today. We're talking about General Hospital. So all of those are out. They're on here. Check it. Be there. Be square. Check them out. Hello, Spring. Somebody's going to stay up even past Easter. Okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah. And to those of you listening later, hi. I appreciate your listens. Like I said, I woke up to a donation this morning. So okay. I mean, somebody listening, I guess, overnight. So thank you. You can always give. Um, I'm going to do this now. Oops, nope. I don't want to do that. I don't know why he's doing that. See, Tony is still, Tony's still going. He's like, I got gas in me and I am ready to go. He is still, he is still going. Um, Let's see what I'm saying. I forgot what I was doing. So you never know who's going to be watching this and decides to give. Uh, the other night I had people give, and I was like, who are you guys? I don't even know who you guys are. So I was like, thank you. You never know. I give you all kinds of choices. Those are all the choices, kids. And I thought I heard something. I was like, what's that? There we go. All that for you guys. Um, back to my. I have how many Abbeys left? I have. I'm almost done. Three, four, five, six. I have seven. I have seven of these things left. I'm just sitting here, but I got still got some twine. So I'm sitting here patiently doing it. I think I'll hang it up. I'll be on for another half hour or so, kids. With JLJ this morning. Let's help me. Let's help me make my goal. At least get close to it. So I'm gonna come back on later, and try to. I'm trying to make my goal. So that's the whole point. I'm trying to make my goal. I'll be on later and try whatever's left over. Try to make it. That's what I've been doing. So let's make my let's make my goal today. Let's, at least get me close to it. Let's get me close to it. I think twenty dollars. Not a lot. We're almost there. Give me under. Give me under a hundred. That's what I do. Just give me under a hundred. At least. I'm gonna end on that note. This is oddly therapeutic. I was doing it doing this. It's like I'm like this is oddly I'm like I'm oddly kind I'm kind of talking to you guys and doing this. I'm kinda of enjoying it a little bit. It's oddly calming. It really is. It's like um I don't even know if I'm doing the right length or not, but oh well. I feel like I'm, feel like I'm on an assembly line. Just okay. Next. But these were like nine ninety nine on on um, Amazon. I like it. They came the next day, and they're like really good. They're good. Do you want to see me down on my knees or bending over backwards now? Would you be pleased? I'm not the others. I'll do anything. 
I'm not the same. I have no shame. I'm on fire. I'm burning up. <laughs> you know you got me burning up, baby. You know me got me burning up, baby. Burning up for your lead. Burning up for your love. To put these things together. Still kind of, they're really cute. But I literally face, they're like faux wood or whatever. They're so cute. They were not expensive or anything. I have three left that I'm doing. But I guess I'll hang them while I'm sitting talking to you guys. I don't think I'll put the green, the green lights I'm not putting up. I think it's too much green already. I think there's enough greenery to go around already on that tree. I'll save the green lights for some other day. Maybe just for spring. I don't know. Well, the tree is kind of barren. I mean, there, there's not enough lights on it. I should put the green lights for the top half. I'm thinking but the green lights up there. That could be good. Because it is like the bottom half has lights, but the top half doesn't have lights. Well, the middle part has lights. The rest don't have lights. Suddenly, life has new meaning to me. There's beauty up above that you never take notice of. You wake up suddenly, you're late. Each day, I pray. That's why I have white lights right there. So I'm like, I should I could, I could do white always at the top. But again, it's more money. I'm like I'm trying to raise money and I'm trying to save money at the same time. I'm like, I got green lights. I might just I don't know. I don't know. Shit. Everything cost everything costs dollars. Dollars. Everything costs money. Like God bless America. But I am done with the ornaments. This is. I'm going to save the twine because you just never know. Put them in here. <laughs> 17 people are watching. Hello, 17 people. I'm trying to grow your. 16 watching, 15. Love it. Okay, I think it's time to hang on. I think it's time. I get to two dollars. I get to dollars selling the locations where I start selling locations. They're not, our dollar stores are not that good like that. They have good yard decorations. The yard for the yard, this stuff for my fence, but we don't have we don't ours aren't as good anymore like they used like they used to was. They have good, they have some good stuff, but not for what I'm looking for. Or they don't have. So, our Joanne's, I guess Joanne's filed Chapter Eleven bankruptcy. So we'll see what happens with them. We like Joanne's. So guys, I gotta go to see if they have any major sales. I think they do. I think it's time for me to hang the lights. You hang the lights. Hang these thingies. I'm gonna hang these. Back closing that. 
Oh, Dolce's clothing. I miss. I don't know nothing. Apparently, I know absolutely nothing. Didn't I? Didn't hear. I didn't even hear that. Didn't even hear that. I had no idea. I had no idea that was happening. I had no idea. Oh, spring, very good. I'm putting ornaments up. That's what I'm doing. Go. They go to the front first. That's where everybody's looking. Signs up. Uh, let's see, who's talking? Who's in here? Yeah, I didn't know there was closed stores. I had, no, I had no idea. They know they were closed doors. They all learned something, something new. I had no idea. I had no idea. That's sad. It's just on the floor. I'm shit on the floor. Um, spring. Happy Easter on top. There. I know. I know. I'm doing a trim. I'm doing a trim trimming, a, tr a tree trimming in spring. I don't think they actually do. They, they do, don't they? They're like, they like stand out. Shit. More so than the other ones. I guess they're more colorful. I think that's why. I think they're more colorful. That's why they're standing out. I think that's why. They're, just, they're really colorful. I don't like this one here. This one here. They're really colorful. I think that's the difference. There you go. Oh, they really stand out. I know they really stand out, don't they? It's kind of weird. I'm like, wow. Okay, then I'll take it. And I'll take it. It just it really do. It just really does. You're right. It really does like stand out. You know, couple left. Uh, 
that. All righty. They do stand out. These do stand out. They do. I take pictures of it. So it does stand out with these decorations. Dang. Look at all of them. It stands, stands out. Even more so than the other ones. Wow. Okay. It does stand out. So this stays up for a couple of weeks, thank God. Okay. That was fun. Okay, kids. That's why I did a tree trimming. See there, see he, Tony, Tony's still Tony's still going. Okay. He's like, he is still, he is still going. This is good. This is good. I'm going to post right now on Patreon. I'll post on Patreon. It's 1118. Uh oh, the morning's almost up. Here he goes. He's still, he's still working it. Okay. So I'm going to do this. So everybody can see this, the Easter tree. So I'm going to post it for everybody to see on Patreon. That's fine. And Tony's still going. He's still going. He's like, we are still going. That's right. Who is the host of Survivor After Show that had the hat from his? James, who was the host of the Survivor After Show that had the hat from his daughter's birthday? I'm wondering if he had added in a memory to it for Easter. I, I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm like completely lost. Um I don't uh, I mean at at um on Afterbus TV, I don't know who the survivor people of that after I know who did that after show. I have no idea who did who did that after show. Afterbus TV. If you name a name, I if I, I may know the name, if you say the name of the person, I don't I don't know them. I did Big Brother. So I know I, I know my big brother co hosts, but I didn't I didn't I don't know who the survivor after show people were. Oh no! Well, no, it's like even my buddies who do uh, strat chat. None of them have kids, so it's not even that either. I don't know who that is. You have to, you have to refresh my memory. I don't know who that is. Who that is? That was good. I did the show. I did it. Okay, I did it. I did, I did, I did it, I did, I did, I did it. I don't remember his name. He was one of your evening after dark lives. Oh, I don't I don't even know who that is. Who did the Survivor after show? That my daughter had it that from his daughter's birthday. Yeah, none of my uh none of my co-hosts have um, the only co-host I ever that I have that has kids is Frank Moran. He does, he does uh he does. He's never done an After Dark live with me, and he and he's just, um, and he does my he does my GH after show. You have to direct me to which show that was because I don't, I don't, I'm just not. I'm blanking out. But everybody else I know doesn't have any kids. We all wear hats on occasion. Light behind a flag and light behind him. Yeah, I it's, that's the problem. I do too. I do too many shows. I do too many shows. 
So I'm like, uh, I don't. It's, it's not really right now. It's not really anybody. It's a distraction. So beauty fashion is coming in. The stretch I got. He has a niece. He has very. He's one of ten kids. So he has nieces and nephews. Stretch So John Dumphy, my my coach, my my uh, Star Wars stuff. Um, he had a giant hat on. Yeah, I don't. I okay. But if it's John Dumphy, then that's stretch hat. It's John Dumphy. We got at least we got that part going. It's John Dumphy. But you guys know more stuff than I'm. I like I said I I do shows. I move on to the next thing. I have so I have so much going on. My like, show next thing. Show next thing. I don't. Know. I have too much to remember. Child Predator wants to do illegal things to a minor part three. I want to feel you close, put my arms around you, and touch your beautiful body wherever you'd let me. I'd love to see your reaction on your face when I start rubbing you down there. Wouldn't be cute if you made sounds for me. See what kind of sounds you want me to make. Expose the pedophile. Yes, you did. I guess I will end here. It's been two and a half hours. It's been two and a half hours. And I am going to probably come on a little later, you guys. So you may or may not get a notification. <laughs> Can't tell you what time. I'm waiting to hear back about one thing. I haven't heard anything about it so far. I keep checking my email. I have not heard anything. So it may not even happen today. But I may come on a little later. I'm going to take care. I'm going to go to the backyard, do some stuff back there. Matt, look out for that. Um, Tony, uh, yeah, Tony and Matt, but you both are my Patreon people. Look out for that stuff. Um, I'm going, and I'll probably come on a little later, but I still need $120. So if you want to give, you can, and I'll update the system about probably back on trying to get that money too. So thank you to those who gave. Thank you so much for being on today. Thank you for spending your morning with me. I've been on for, a, I mean, all morning. Huh, okay. And 